Hello, everybody. My name is Issy, and welcome to Yoga for Hip Mobility. Today's class, I will be guiding you through some fun yoga flow, mixing up with some fun hip mobility that will help you strengthen uh, your hip and, of course, gain more flexibility in your hip as well. And you would feel burned and it should be challenging. Feel free to pause, rest, or anything if you feel like you need to. You will not need anything in this class. Whenever you're ready, I'll see you on your mats. Okay, guys, we will start with Malasana today. So let's go ahead, bring your feet down. So some of you that have uh, conditions with your ankles that your heels might not be able to come down, take it easy. Trying to keep your feet um, as wide as you need and trying to active your glute muscles. Start with, before we just gonna go into the malasana straight away, start with just moving the knee side to side, trying to keep your back straight. And then from here, if you can, bring your hands towards your knees and start to open up into that knee. Squeeze your glute muscles, lift the chest, lengthen up, tall up your spine, and start to lift that heel side to side, draw the knee down, lift the chest, take a deep breath. Maybe all the way to tap the knee and come back up. Feel the activations through your glutes. Okay, and once you get there, and we're going to bring the elbows inside the knee if that's possible. If not, you can still keep the feet a little wider. Make sure that your heels want to touch the floor. Once you get there, inhale, take a deep breath. Squeeze your glute muscle. That is actually the glute muscle to help you open up into your groins and your legs. Two palms are pressing. And at the same time, I want you to push your knees towards your elbows and the elbows are pushing the knee back. Four, and then maybe just a slightly shift the body weight towards two, one foot at a time. And five, okay. We're gonna warm up in front this one first. So drop both hands on the floor, lift the hips up and then begin to turn the body towards to the right, to the left side and drop your right knee on the floor. Here we go. And then inhale, use your glute muscle, lift that right knee out and drop your left knee. Keep the back straight. Now you can keep the hands right here on the floor the whole time or bring your palms up towards to the chest into that and keep the back straight up nice and tall. Tap and you're gonna start to feel, oh, that's my hip crack. You're gonna start to feel the burn straight away. Tap, and if you can, you're going to turn all the way and squeeze your knee and down and tap and come back to the middle. Breathe in and exhale. Tap and turn the body all the way. Okay, let's try it again. All the way. Here we go. Come back this time. Still trying to drop. Keep the knee hover a little bit and then twist. <sighs> Inhale. Oh, I'm feeling the burn already within the few minute and twist. You can drop the knee completely if you're feeling a little bit more tired. And again, if you were a little advanced, keep that knee hover and twist. Whew. And come back to Malasana. Squeeze your glutes again and twist. And come back. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna need to rest. Drop your hands on the floor. This time, walk your hands forward. Lift the butt up and then start to paddle up the heels. Walk your legs back. Press your palms wide out your shoulder blades and just give yourself a little shake up into your legs. Shake it all off, anything that carry that you have been carrying to this mat today, all the thing that doesn't serve you, let it all out, shake it all out. Okay, now feet with the hip distance, palms are wide. Press now into those 10 fingertips. Wide up your shoulder blades. Bend the knee if you need to. Suck the belly in. Inhale, lift the heels high like you are wearing high heels. Here on the exhale, press the belly and the chest closer to your thighs. And then press the heels, contract your thighs. Imagine that you're squeezing an object, a block between your thighs. All right, let's do that again. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, press back to one more. Inhale, live up, stretching those hamstrings. Bend the knee more, press the chest more, wide up the shoulder blades more. Exhale, 
press that heels on the floor. Okay, good. Now take a deep breath in. We're gonna lift that right leg up. Let's bend the knee, open the hip here. Keep the shoulder down, the shoulders are square. Pointing up the knee, use your right heel. You have to pull it closer to the glutes and really open up into that hip flexor to the front right leg here on that inhale here. So keep that knee bent and try to go with the big circle here five times with the clockwise one, shoulder square, keep the core tight. Two, open up, three, big circle, four, and last one here, all the way up, and five. Okay, on that exhale, step the right foot outside the right hand, all the way to the, almost the outer edge of the mat. Bring your left hands on the floor, inhale, sink your hip down, you can slide your left toes a little bit back, reach the right arms over the head, and from here, twist, and draw your inner thigh closer, bring your arms all the way to the other side. Keep that spine a little twisting. Here on that breathing hold, here on that exhale, you're going to bring your right hand all the way down and try to slide and sink down and tap your right hand. Okay, on that next inhale, again, you're going to bend and open up. Keep that right knee bend and open. Exhale, sink down and tap your right hand forward. Inhale, big circle, good for the shoulder as well. Exhale, three, two more. Inhale, up. Exhale, sing a little lower. Maybe this time tap your shin or whatever that suitable for you. Up, exhale. Here we go, five. Okay, drop your hands for a second. Straight out that right leg. Oh, use your hand to push. Trying to push in touch to that heels. If you can, lift the front foot up, press the heels down, draw your right hip back, and keep pressing. If the left heel is not on the floor, that's fine. Two, keep the back long, pull the belly in. Four, and five. Now we're gonna try to find this combination, so keep the left hand on the floor still. You're going to bend into that right leg, and then reach the right arms all the way. Here on that exhale, right hand comes forward just like we did. Bring it down and then inhale, extend the leg and raise the right arms. And from here, bend your knee, open up, exhale. Go to the front, straight the leg, right arms up too. And then down all the way to the front. And straight the right leg three and twist the same time. And bend, open. Go down, straight up, four, last one, bend, swing down, peel the right inner foot up if you need, or it's actually good, down, and straight it up, five, okay, from here, bring your right hand down, outside the foot, step that right foot all the way back to the back of the mat, inhale, lift the heels, Bring your shoulders over the wrist, come forward, and drop the knee, chest in down for the first Bhujangasana. Drop, 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 keep the butt high, inhale, slide, and press the top of the feet, active your thighs, inner thighs, exhale here. Press your hands, downward facing dog. Okay, give yourself a little more shake, you can bend the knee, press your thighs back. All right, let's do the other side here, guys. So on the next inhale, lift the left leg up. Let's bend the knee, open the hip, keep the shoulders square, open as high as you can. Now keep the core tight, pull that left heel towards to your glutes and open. Keep kicking, keep squeezing the butt. And here we go, we're gonna spin that left knee to the big circle. This time would be the anti-clockwise. So draw that left knee down to the floor and then inhale, big circle, spread it wide. One, point your toes maybe, inhale. Two, try not to open the left shoulder, keep the left armpits down. Up three, four. And five, here we go. On that exhale, draw your left foot outside the left hand. Whew, come all that way. Bring your right toes a little bit back if you like. Right hand still on the floor. Sink your hip down and reach the left arms over. And bring that left hand all the way to the other side. Keep yourself a really good spinal twist here. If you like, you can peel the left inner foot, the inner foot up here and open. Hold it up for three, sink the hip low, squeeze your glutes four, and five. Now draw your left hand 
all the way to the front. Keep the left knee bent the whole time. Sink down. Inhale, big circle. And keep the right knee up. If this is too much, drop your right knee. Same goes with the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Tap. And up two. Good. And down. Breathe in. Three. Open up. Exhale. Down. Four. And down. All the way. And all the way up for five. Okay, bring your left hands on the floor first. Straight your left leg. If you can, lift the front foot up and press the heel. Now, your hip would be like this, maybe. So move that left butt back and draw your right hip forward. Keep pressing. Keep lengthening your spine. The left knee can be bent. That's fine. Lift the chest. Open up your collarbones. And on that exhale, fold the head down up for five. You can press the right heel down as well. Three, two, and one. Now we're adding that combo. So bend your left knee first. Here we go. And reach that left arms all the way up. Here on that exhale, go down. Tap to the front. Inhale, straight the left leg. Lift the arms. Bend, peel the left inner foot up. Tap, two, straight up. And bend, open the left shoulder, down, still bending the left knee, and straight up, left hands go up, three, bend and go down, make it like smooth on the exhale, inhale, four, and last one, go down, here all the way, left hands to the front, or even chest, and straight it up, all for five, okay, set your left hands on the floor, step the left foot back, here we go. More of that vinyasa, keep the shoulder over the wrist, and if you like, show, go for chaturanga, squeeze your elbow in, inhale, upward facing dog, or cobra, your choice here. And on that exhale, press your palms, downward facing dog. Okay, now take a deep breath, lift the heels high. And then exhale, press the heels back down, relax your shoulders. Give me one more time of that. Inhale, lift the heels high. And then exhale, press that heels on the floor. Great, now inhale here, right leg goes up. Bend the knee, open the hip. On this time, exhale, step that right foot right between your hands. You go drop your left knee on the floor first. Bring your left foot to the right side of the mat. So spin. If you need to paddle anything, the towel or the pads, feel free to put it right underneath the left knee if you have the sensitivity. Okay, now here we go. Keep making sure that your heel and your knee, it's in the same line. If your mat has a line, just make sure of that. So when you come up, tuck your tailbone, squeeze your glutes. Use that right glute muscle to open up into that right knee. Toes are pointing to forward. Hands can be on the waistline. And as you exhale, I want you to poke that right knee forward without caving the knee in. Keep pushing the knee out. Squeeze your glutes. Sink down. Keep the back straight. And come up one. Good. Exhale. Even when you go down, squeeze your glute. Active your glute muscle. Even when you come up, squeeze your glute. Keep this open. Two. Good. And if you can, hands will go even more. Three. You come up. Down. Four, one more, down, and five. Let's try to hold it at the end here and pause, 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 pause. Use your hand to open up, chest up, take a deep breath. One, breathe in, two, breathe in, three. If you can, left hand will push right underneath the left hip and find this little back bend version. Whew, four, if not, don't worry, just hold on there, and five. Whew. I like that one. So you come up. Here we go. And then from here, both hands will come down to the front of the mat. You're going to flip your right foot in so the toes will point towards to the side of the mat. You will slide the foot to the end until you start to feel the pressure or the tension here. So we're going to start with that groin muscle. You can even move that left knee if you have flexibility. Okay, now here we go. Make sure that the left heel, the left knee, it's in line with the middle of that foot the other foot okay here we go now i want you to slide this is really fun you can actually do it with socks bring your right foot active your glutes your quad your muscles don't let everything sink down to the joints too much maybe and from here you're gonna slide 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 all the way 
and then use your glute muscle and pull it back. One, up, keep the muscle, don't just drag and slide. And up, two, and slide. This would be good exercise for wiping the floor. And down, maybe the chest are down. And up, three, and using more. Down, four, one more down and five so they come back up just in halfway now if you feel a little loose you can slide this as much as you like to bring your right forearms or the right hand on the floor and we will twist left arm will go up so this is an option one option two elbows on the floor and twist and if you like slide the right foot a little bit more and keep the right quad action active don't press the pressure too much on the knee right knee especially and twist it out for one. If you like, left hand can go behind the back and grab it into the other leg and twist. Press down more on the elbow, right elbow or the right palm. Four, five, okay, here we go. Left hand comes down, support. Lift the chest up halfway. This time, you can tuck the toes, left toes here, and you're going to lean back and flex in and come back up one, down, two, come forward, down, three, go for five, and more, four, and five, here we go. So bend your right leg, this time come back to the front of the mat, bring both hands inside, left toes are coming back into that mat, tuck your toes first, lift the hips, off, lift the knees off the ground, now take a deep breath, this time bring your right foot to the outer edge of the mat, to the right side, and the left foot would go to the left corner. Now, if this is too much, drop your left knee. If you can still manage to keep the knee up, that's great. Lift first, and here on that exhale, drop your hands, both hands, elbows, that's an option too, or bring the chest down and three on your palms. Whatever you like, or I, what I like to do here is to drop your left ear and breathe, two, three, keep squeezing the glutes, muscle, four, five, inhale, push yourself up halfway, walk both hands to the left corner of the mat or outside the mat. Now you're going to push the hands as far as you can, right knee will be on the other side, peel the right inner foot up and push push now you should feel the stretch to the right side of the body two again the left knee can drop anytime three four and five here you go drop your hands who slowly come back in and then from here pressing into that palms right foot is outside i want you to pick up that right heel up draw your right knee outside the right elbow just like this show you from here Hold it here, two, and keep lifting. Pull the heels to the glute, three, four, and five. Step that right foot back, and here, go for vinyasa. Feel free to skip it as well if you like. Inhale, press the top of the feet, open your chest, and on that exhale, press your palms. Whew, downward facing dog. Okay, now just give yourself a little shake here. Breathe in, exhale out. All right, now the other side, we're gonna take a deep breath in, lift the heels high, and then exhale, press the heels back down. Okay, let's do it on the other side. This time, inhale, lift the left leg up, just bend the knee, open that hip, keep the left shoulder, left armpits a little lower, and on the exhale here, left foot step forward between your hands. Here we go, drop your right knee on the floor, bring your right foot to the outside of the mat. So I'm gonna to turn to this side so you guys can see me. So now the right foot, it's on the other side. Make sure again, the left heel and the knee is in the same line. We're gonna come up into this pose, tuck your tailbone, squeeze your glute muscles, take a deep breath, use that glute muscle to open up into that left knee. So imagine if you're bringing the left knee out, you want to see all the five toes or the many toes as much as you can. Here we go. Now, tuck, hands can be on the waistline. On that exhale, poke the left knee forward and down and down, keep squeezing, keep open. And when you actually come back up, still activating those glutes area and go down for the second time. Two, 
Okay, hands can be here as well. If you like, three. Good, two more. Down, this is good, four. And then one more to go and sink down, 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 down. Okay, feel free to hold it here or bring both hands behind the glute muscles and push the hip forward, open up and turn this one to the back bend. Lift the left arms, don't let it collapse into your back for four and five. Here we go. Come back all the way up and back here. And then from here, the next one, we will drop both hands on the floor, straight your left leg towards to the side. Toes are gonna point out towards to the front of you as you're facing it forward. Okay, now from here, you're going to lift the chest up. Try not to arch the back or round the spine too much. Keep the spine up nice and tall. Keep the belly in. Take a deep breath in and here on that exhale, I'm gonna slide as far as I can and go. And when I come up, drag it back one and down again and drag it contract especially your left quads and the glute muscle three two more down four one more down all the way out for five okay try to slide it here and hold it at the end two three four and five here we go squeeze 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 pull it back and take a deep breath in okay exhale now we're going to go for that twisting Try to go as far as you can. Again, keep the muscle active and then bring your left hand or the left forearm on the floor. Reach the right hands up. If you like, throw up, bring your right hand behind, finding that twist for one. And go down, twist the right shoulder up, two, three, four, and five, okay, now we're gonna slide the hip back, bring your hands down first, take a deep breath. Here on that exhale, tuck your toes, so keep the flat feet here, and then pull that hip back, one, turn your toes up, and two, down and up, three, active while you're moving, four, keep the back long, and five, okay, from here, come back, bend your left leg, here we go. Turn both hands inside, tuck your toes. Okay, here we go. And from here, both hands will come inside, bring your left foot to the left side of the mat, right foot to the corner, the back right corner here. And then from here, lift the right knee up. Options for easier, drop your knee. It's getting too much here. Place both hands, lift the chest. Okay, you can stay here or lift the knee or drop your chest or drop your right ear down, your choice. Peel the left inner foot up so that you can go a little deeper. Hold for two, three, four, and five. Press yourself all the way up. Now walk both hands to the outside of the mat. Hup, as far as you can. Okay, and push and draw your left knee to the back, to the other side and back and hold two, Contract your glute muscle, contract your right thighs. Three, four, and five. Here we go, drop your knees on the floor, walk your hands back. Whew, take a deep breath in, left hands will go outside, step the left foot back here into your vinyasa. Inhale, and then exhale here, downward facing dog, press your hands back, here we go. Okay, hold it up here. Exhale. Okay, now I'm gonna turn to the uh, the same side that I was. Okay, we're gonna next flow here. We're gonna mix it up with some warrior. We're gonna inhale, lift the right leg up into the sky here. Bend the knee, open the hip here. Take a deep breath. This time lift the left heel even higher. Draw your right armpit a little lower. Right knee a little open up. Here on that exhale, step the right foot here outside the right hand. Okay, here we go. Slide your left foot a little bit back if you're flexible. Keep your left hands on the floor. Now take a deep breath here. Lift the right hands up again, just like we did at the beginning. On that exhale, right arms forward and tap. On that next inhale, straight your right leg. Lift the right hands up and find that twist. On that exhale, bring your right hand down. Bend your right knee. Bring your foot down. Left foot down, we're gonna turn out to the side, to a side lunges. So from here, it may take a while for those who have ankle 
just uh, all the stiffness in the ankle. So just feel free to move the feet, adjust the feet, trying your best to focus on keeping the heels on the floor, active your glute muscle. You can use your hand to support at the beginning. For those who are quite flexible, you're going to come up and bring your hands on the chest. But I like to see the legs active, the glute muscle active, and the heels are completely on the floor. Or it might look like this to you, which is still okay. All right, now no matter where you are, you're gonna hold it right there. Here we go, one and keep your left leg active, press the left heel, two, chest up, three, four, and five. Okay, now try to lift the left hands up. You can have still your right hands on the floor. For those who have flexibility and your palms are not on the floor, you're gonna find the bind, if that's possible, and open your chest for five, four, squeeze your good more, three, two, and here we go, one, release your hands. Both hands will come down to the front of the mat, inside. Back foot, tuck, 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 tuck. Still keep that right knee bent, breathe on that exhale. Lower the chest down as much as you can, or even the ear, and then push it up. And then go back to that side lunges, or skandasana. You can still keep your hands up or down, and on the exhale again, you're going to rotate, really feel the glutes, the Quads, down and tap, and up, two, breathe, exhale, three, and up, and down, four, exhale, inhale, up, one more, and down, five, down, inhale from here, come all the way back up, sing your hip down again, lift the chest, take a deep, big breath in. On that exhale, you're gonna bring your hands. I know that legs are gonna be tired. You're going to straight your right leg up. Whew, that should feel good. Keep the feet parallel. Take a deep breath. This is like a quick rest for you. Heels are wider than the toes. Lift the butt up, bend your knee if you need. On that exhale, fold the head down. Try to keep your back straight rather than focus on keeping the legs straight. And fold down and hold it here. Hands can grab the ankle, suck the belly a little bit more. And breathe, lean forward. Three, four, and five. Inhale, lift the chest. We're gonna go back to the side lunges. That was a quick break for you guys. Okay, now from here, go down slowly, slowly, slowly. You can see that my right toes are a little bit turned towards the corner. And then from here, open up into that knee, lift the chest. On that exhale, we're gonna change from here to the warrior two. So you're gonna bring your left foot down to the floor, press the out edge of the foot, turn the front foot out, and so the toes are gonna be into the front of the mat. Okay, now we're in that warrior two position. Keep the knee bent. Here we go, A warrior two. Look towards to the right hands. Trying to work on sinking the hip low, that one day your hip and your knee want to be in the same line. But if not, don't worry about it. And look to the right hand, and two, three. Contract your glute muscle. Four, active your leg, strong leg, strong arm, and five. Okay, you're gonna hit me for this. You're gonna go down into that side lunges again. So you're gonna turn your toes in. Whew. And go for that side lunges. And you're gonna hit me more. So from here, we're gonna go back and forth to that warrior two. Here we go, that's one. And down, two. If you need, you can drop your hands to support down. And come up if you're advanced. Hands should not, should be here on the chest. Three, down, four, and down. And last one here, five here. On that exhale, both hands on the floor. Whew, now you get to straight out that front leg, shaking it out. Bring your left foot just a little closer for that stability of your legs. Draw your right hip back. If you like, you can lift the front foot up. Exhale, fold down for five, four, ooh, three, two, and one. Inhale, lift the chest here on that. Exhale, step the right foot back and go for that vinyasa. Inhale, exhale here, downward facing dog. Press your hands back. Okay, let's start the left side straight away. Inhale, lift the left leg up here. Bend the knee, open the hip. Keep the left shoulder down, squeeze your glutes. 
heels and more. Exhale here, step the left foot outside the left hand. And same go, right hands on the floor, slide your right toes back. Inhale, reach the left hands all the way up, bend your left knee. Exhale, left hands tap, just like the beginning. Inhale, extend your left leg, lift up. Take a deep, full breath in on that. Exhale, left hands comes out and go for that. Side lunges. Now I'm gonna turn my butt to the camera so you can see. Keep this glute open and keep it active. Lift and then keep this right leg active as well. Lift the chest, breathe in for five. Four hand can support. Three, just like the other side. Two. And here we go. One, okay, on that exhale, you're going to bring both hands all the way, right hands will come all the way up first. If you like, combined. If not, don't worry. Ooh, hold it here. Squeeze your butt in. Two, three, four, and five. Both hands to the front of the mat. Tuck your right toes. Here on that exhale, lower the chest or whatever that can come down. You can keep the right knee float or drop it. Inhale, lift yourself up again for that side lunges. Exhale down two and up exhale three and back up keep that left knee open four and back up one more and all the way five here we go inhale come all the way extend into that left leg turn your body toes to that right side now from here heels are out toes are in breathe quick exhale one breath go all the way here we go, inhale, flat back. Exhale, turn your left foot down into that side lunges again. Here we go, go all the way on the next one. We're gonna make our way into the warrior two. So again, keep that right foot down, turn your left toes to the front, warrior two. Hold it here first for five, four, go down, three, two, and one. Five times, back and forth. Here we go, you can use your hand. One, if you like, you can advance. Foot, left foot, so it's not moving. So it goes in the same positions as warrior two. Down, two, good. Down, you can use your hand. Three, two more, you can do this. Squeeze your glutes, four, one more. Down, all the way, and five, here we go. Whew. Both hands to the front, tuck your right toes, hop your right foot back, flex your toes on the left toes or pick the whole foot up breathe in exhale fold the head for five four three two and one here we go press the palms step back to the vinyasa stretching out the back twist side to side here on that exhale curl your toes back downward facing dog Whew. now i'm feeling a little warm up on the hips on the whole legs Okay, now inhale, lift the heels high. And then exhale, press the heels back down. One more now, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, press the heels down. Okay, now we're gonna make a nice flow out of this. Take a deep breath in, lift the right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip here. On that exhale, step the right foot outside the right hand. Stack your left toes, still reach the right hand up, finding that twist, exhale, right hand tap. The beginning, inhale, straight your right leg, twist again. On that exhale, side lunges and all the way, coming down. Inhale, lift the chest up halfway here. On that exhale, both hands inside, tuck your toes, drop your left ear on the floor. Here we go, and then on the next inhale, lift the chest up. Go back into that side lunges, breathe in. Exhale, go down, great. Now, next inhale, warrior two. Slowly come up gracefully. And then inhale, reverse warrior. Take a deep breath. On that exhale, right hand comes down. Left hand goes all the way up here. Okay, now from here, you can draw your elbow down if you like, or keep this open. Hold it up for two, three, four, and five. Here we go, bring both hands to the front of the mat. Keep the right foot on the floor, kick the left leg up this time. Bend the knee, open up into the hip here. Okay, now we're gonna do that circle with the knee. So big circle, draw your left knee down to the floor and big circle anti-clockwise, one and up two, three, four, 
three, four, and all the way up for five. Okay, step your left foot all the way to the back. Find your high lunges here for crescent. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, open your arms out and wide. If you can, lift the right heels up, sink the butt down, hold it up for one, two, chest up, three, four, and five. Both hands on the floor. Here we go. This time, step your right foot all the way to the back and go down. Inhale. Exhale here. Into that downward facing dog. Press back. Okay, on that next inhale, the other side. Lift the left leg up here. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Breathe towards to that left side of the, of the body. On the exhale, left foot's outside the left hand. Right hand on the floor. Inhale. Twist. Breathe. Exhale, tap your left hand, chest down. Inhale, straight your left leg, twist, left arms are up. On that exhale, bring your left hand inside, side lunges. Inhale, breathe. Exhale, both hands on the floor, right ear down. Finding that lizard pose. Inhale, lift yourself up. Again, side lunges, breathe in, exhale, sink the hip a little lower. On that next inhale, warrior two, straight away. And then inhale, reverse warrior, left arms open. On that exhale, left hands on the floor, right arms are up. Hold it here for five, four, hip low, three, right side open, two, and here we go, one. Okay, both hands on the floor. And then from here, left hands will be outside. Keep the left foot on the floor, kick the right leg up, standing split. Bend the knee, open the hip here, and draw your right knee down to the floor first. Big circle with the knee, clockwise. One, here we go, two, three, four. Shoulder square, core tight, and five. Here you go, step that right foot all the way to the back. Bend your left knee, crescent, breathe in. Exhale if you can, lift the left heels open for five, four, three, Two and one, both hands on the floor. Step the left foot back into your vinyasa. Inhale. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Press it back. Inhale, lift both heels high. Exhale, press the heels back down. Okay, one more just like that. Inhale, right leg will go up. You guys can do this here on that exhale. Again, right foot outside the right hand. Left hand on the floor. Inhale, reach the right hand up, twist. On that exhale, right hand comes to the front. Tap your chest and lower the body down. Inhale, straight your right leg. Twist, right hand goes up. Breathe in here. On that exhale, right hand comes down inside. Side lunges. Breathe in. Exhale, both hands to the front. Lift ear down. Tuck your left toes. On that next inhale, again, finding your side lunges. And then inhale here. Hurry to. Breathe in, reverse, warrior. Exhale, right hand comes down. Pause it here first. This time, trying to go a little deeper. Bring your right elbow on the floor or trying to get down if you can. Arms will go underneath the right knee. Now, you can use the towel to find the bind or just place your left hand behind. And if it happens, it happens. So hold it here and open up. One, pop your chest forward. Two, and try your best to keep that left side open, peel the left hip bone open, four, and last one, here we go, five, okay, release into that hands, and from here, bring your right hand comes down to the floor again, kick that left leg up into that standing split, right foot on the floor, take a deep, big breath in, big circle, only three times, anti-clockwise, one, two, and three, on the next three, straight your leg and do the same. Big circle, one, point your toes. Two, shoulder square, one more. Ooh, all the way up for three. Now left foot step behind the mat, bend your right knee, crescent, inhale. If you can, lift the right heel straight away. On that exhale, open up into that chest, breathe in. On that exhale, both hands on the floor again. Kick the left leg up into that warrior three. Lift into that chest. Take a deep full breath in. On that exhale, draw your left knee to the front. Bend your right knee as well. 
Now, you can stay here, lift the chest, or drop your foot down into like a share pose, or you can bring your right hand to grab the out the edge of the left foot. Use your left hand to support here, and then from here, you're going to lift that left foot outside to the front. Okay, if this is where you are, stay right here. Okay, so for those who can go for the pistol squat, you're going to sink down. Ooh, and hold it if you like. Left hand can be up and twist too. If none of this happened, don't worry. Keep it on that chair pose. Four and five. I'm crying on my legs right now. Left hand comes down. You need to pick yourself up. So either drop the foot and stand up with both legs, both feet. Or keep one foot down and lift. Lift, 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 lift. Here we go. And from here, keep the hands on the foot. Slide your right foot outside a bit. Left hands outside the mat if it's possible. Bring your body down low. Try to slide your elbow, right elbow, underneath the right knee. And from here, you're going to, this would be a little bit confusing. So you're going to keep your right hand on the outer edge of the left foot. Bring the left heel to the groin, the middle of the groin. And then from here, draw your left knee outside to the side, and you're going to flip up and lip up and lip up lip up okay maybe you cannot look like me not yet but with the practice you will and keep using your arm to pushing draw the body down even more slide the armpits to the right in the thigh and point the knee higher for four and five here we go now from here you're going to step that left foot all the way to the back right hand comes now inhale straight your right leg for that rest on that exhale, fold the head. Ooh, inhale here. Bend your right knee, step back, and go for that vinyasa. Ooh, inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press your body all the way to the back. Okay, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, press the heels. The other side. Ooh, I'm feeling on the burn here. Okay, now the left side. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Almost the same as the previous one. But on the other side, on that exhale, step the left foot outside the left hand. Okay, here we go. Right hands on the floor. Tuck your right toes. Inhale, lift the left arms all the way. Take a deep breath. Exhale, lower the body down. Hands to the front. Sink down, sink down, sink down. Inhale, straight your left leg. Lift the left arms. Again, twist. On that next exhale, side lunges or skandasana. Go all the way. Inhale. Right hands on the floor, tuck your toes, go with down with the right ear or the chest. On the next inhale, skandasana, breathe. Uh, and exhale, sink down low, inhale again. Warrior two, breathe. On that next one, reverse. On the exhale, left hand down. Okay, now we're gonna slide your left arms or the full arm or bind or find a towel. And try not to let the right chest or the right shoulder collapse. Keep open, open, peel the chest up. And imagine that right shoulder would be on top of the left shoulder. Peel it up for three, four, and breathe it up for five. Here we go. Okay, release that hand. Bring your hands to the front of the mat. Again, standing split, left hands, left foot on the floor. Inhale, kick the right leg up, point your toes. Three. Times of the right knee bend, like a big circle, clockwise. One, two, big circle, three, big, 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 big. Now straight the leg and to do the same. Big circle like you're drawing the pencil. One, core tight, two legs strong. And one more, one more, more, all the way up. Here we go for three. Drop your right foot to the back. And then crescent or the high lunge here. Lift the left heels up if it's possible. Bring it up for two, chest high. Three, tuck your tailbone, keep the core tight, and here we go. Five, okay, drop your right hand, both hands on the floor again. This time, kick that right leg up. Okay, bend your leg. Draw your right knee to the front, bend your knee. So, okay, you can go for that half chair with one leg, kick up, lift the chest and hold. Or again, the left hands could grab the right foot come forward and stay here or draw up the hip all the way down and if you like your hands will be up and find the twist for one or if you want to challenge yourself hands will not keep the foot and just lift for five 
four, chest up, three, two, and one. Left hand, grab the outer edge of the right foot again. We're gonna stand up either with one feet, one foot here, or both. Here we go. Now, you're gonna slide that left forearm underneath the left knee, okay? So, I'm gonna turn to this side so you can see me. Left forearm underneath, or you can even place the left shoulder underneath the knee, if that's possible. Left hand still grab the outer edge of the foot. Bring your right heel towards to the, uh, between the groin here. And then from here, open the right knee to the side and lift up. So if you cannot go all the way up, just keep bending and lift two and three. If you can, try to peel that knee all the way up and sink your head down. Use your hand to go outside the mat to keep it even higher. Two, straight your leg, three, four and five here we go come back come back come back drop it down this time step that right foot all the way to the back of the mat straight your left leg exhale fold down and then come go back into that vinyasa of yours place your hands step back here we go inhale uh cobra pose stretching out the back here and exhale press your palms Whew. downward facing dog Okay, now the next inhale, lift the heels. Exhale here, press the heels all the way down. Good. On that next inhale here, just a little fun flow. And step that right foot all the way to the front of the mat first. Go into the goddess pose. Bring your to toes out, heels are in. And from here, sink your hip down into the goddess. If you like, you can even bring your foot even wider even wider, you're gonna come up here, bring your hands to the prayer, and you're gonna sink the hip down, trying your best here to open up into the knees for two, three, and trying to keep the heels in, four, five. Now turn your toes 45 degrees as wide as you can. Use your hand to go support on your knees first, bring it from the inside and push, and from here, lower the hip toes to the right ankle. And if you can, straight out that leg. Here we go, and up. You can still use your hand, lift the chest. Active, two. Here we go, up. Three, if you like, hands can be here. Four. Okay, five, and you can make a nice flow with the hands. Up with the hands, up, exhale. Lengthen, inhale, up. Good, and up. Three, now I'm gonna add this challenge for you. Up, come down, sit all the way down, reach the right hand to the left toes if that's possible and come up again. Hoop, <laughs> and all the way down. Right hands grab the left ankles and then off and then from here, push. <sighs> Breathe in or just do however you like it. One more on the other side, hoop. Keep the legs and the hip active and down. Okay, inhale here, come all the way up. Oh, straight your legs, shaking out the hip. Exhale. All right, now move yourself in the mat. Keep the toes, 10 toes pointing up. Contract your quads, contract your thighs, contract your glutes a bit. And from here, we're gonna try to lean forward and down. You can use your hand to support to go down and up but the toes was try to stay lifted and point up to the ceiling. If you're quite advanced and you're quite flexible, I suggest that you can keep the hands up like this and try to go down. As you come down, don't let this fall and flip. Keep it lift and come back up. Or you can bring your hands behind and try to go all the way and try to touch the chest. One, okay? For those so this is impossible, you can drop and try to lean forward as much as you can. And one more thing, if you feel like you're leaning back this way and you cannot go forward, put the towel or the cushion underneath the hip to elevate the spine and elevate the hip so that your spine is up nice and tall. Okay, now we're gonna try to go down, back and forth. Here we go. Hands can be anywhere you like. Here, there, one. You're gonna tap, keep the back straight line. Two, and up, three, up, four. One more, one more, five, ho, 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 for five, four, lift the toes, three, 
two and one. Here we go, come back all the way up. We're gonna drag both legs inside into the 90-90 poses. Here, so the 90-90, it literally the 90-90. So your thigh bones would make a 90 degree angle and that your shin bone and the thigh bone would make a 90 degree angle. That's an ideally. But if you feel like you're sitting like this and it looks like that, or one of the hip, it's lifted, you can draw your heel closer, but still keep the thigh bone where they are. So until adjust until your hip wants to be on the floor and you don't have any pinching sensations in the knees, that's also important too. All right, now adjust yourself. So ideally the ankle and the face should be 90 as well. Okay, now once you get there, inhale, lean, twist over to your left side, the left knee, and bring your body lean forward. And it's okay to allow the right lift, inhale, come back up, twist the body, twist to the right knee, and then draw the body into the same line of that right knee direction, and go down, down, down. Oh, you're gonna feel feeling of that around the hip here, on the hip, uh, all near the hip flexor, and on the left side, three, inhale on the right side, four, one more each, five, to the other side, six, hold it here for five, chest up, four, three, two, and one, inhale, come back up, and from here, going to spin it out to the other side, okay, let's do this one more, another test, when you are here, twist over to the left first, and try to lift the right heel up, and lean forward, and hold, two, Three, I like this one. Four, five. Now trying to lift the right knee off the ground and drop one. Two, three, four, and five. Here we go. Spin the knee up to the other side and just try to go for a couple times. Two, okay. Now you can keep the hip on uh, the sit bones on the floor. For some of you that have good ankle mobility too, you're gonna try to come forward to the middle and lift yourself up into that deep squat and sit down and into the side and maybe again up. You can slide the heels in if you need to, down to the other side and back up. Okay, now we're gonna spin into that right leg. So the right leg will be in front of you this time. Adjust your 90-90 again. Um, once you get there, again, left, try to get the left hip down to feel the sensations in the left hip flexor, which is about right here. Okay, hands are up. Exhale, if this is too much, again, hands can be support right here. Now up to the left, should be the, mm. and then to the right, two, to the left, three, and to the right, four, and to the left, six, and hold, hold to that left knee, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna try to lift that heel, lean forward to that right knee, lift the left heel, hold it up, flying the hands for two, three, four, and five. Now try to lift the left knee and drop one, two, three, show the square, four, whew, and five. Here we go, drop everything all the way down. Straight out your legs and shake up your all oh, the hip here side to side. Oh, take a deep breath, open up, roll up your neck anywhere that you feel all the tensions. And we're just going to close up practice today with this cow face pose. I'm gonna turn to the camera here so you can see me. So cross the right leg on top of the left. Ideally, we want the sit bones down. We want the knee to be aligned with the knees and squeeze your inner thighs. If this is too much for you, you can, of course, straight to a bottom leg, which is the left, and still cross, and you're going to lean down. Okay, so if this is possible, stay here. Breathe in, and on that exhale, keep the sit bones on the floor. Use your hand here to kind of hook to the feet and lean forward and down. And here we go, one, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, come back up. Now we're gonna twist. Draw your left elbow towards to the right knee. Lean forward to the right side. Try to go as deep as you can. Inhale, lift the chest, straight the back. Exhale, elbow pushing the knee, and the knee pushing the elbow. 
one, two, and lean forward towards to the right side, three, four, five, inhale, come back up, switching, there's a cool way to switch, if you have the leg straight, pull the knee in, very loose, use your hand to come to the front, lift yourself up, spin towards to the left side, keep the feet where they are, all the way, and we go, the left leg's in front, or if you're confused or you get lost, just sit down, switching out the leg, just a little fun trick here, all right, now when we get here, adjust your legs, again, hands will hook the feet, breathe in, exhale, lean forward, and still keep the sit bones on the floor, especially the left ones, and go down, one, two, should feel the sensations in the outer hips, three, four, and five, okay, now for the twist, on the last one, right elbow would be on that left knee, lengthen your spine first, exhale, twist, and push, and lean forward to the side, Ooh, one, ah, feels good in the low back as well, two, mm, three, Ooh, four, and five, okay, here we go, slowly release, oh, I feel all lifted, straight your legs, shake out the knees, hugging your knees in, you can lay down in savasana, and rest, and closing out your practice in savasana, relax your arms, your legs, and feel free to pause the video, stay rested, close your eyes, and thank you so much to join my practice, to give me an opportunity to share the love of yoga to all of you, so enjoy the rest of the day, namaste.